Alright guys, welcome back to Catherine. Last time we unfortunately failed in the torture chamber, first floor. So we're gonna go ahead and retry that. Uh, uh, I think I could do it from the beginning really quickly. So let's try and go through this really quickly. As I said, I don't like using the checkpoint system because it actually um, takes away from your score. Since it starts you halfway, you don't have the, the same step counter that you did when you started. So uh, I guess keep that in mind. Uh, uh, God, this stupid sheep. Let me see if I can... Alright, I'm just gonna have to do this the hard way. Uh, Alright. <laughs> yeah, usually when I run out of time, I just use undo, and it allows me to go back. There we go. Now he's dead. I don't really condone the death of sheep, but these sheep are so annoying, and they're always in the way, trying to kill me and stuff. So, it just needs to happen. Luckily that one's gone, so I don't have to deal with him anymore. I think I could just move this this way. We can climb here. That guy's alive, unfortunately. Um, it's alright, he did us a favor. He got rid of all the blocks that were in the way. Let me knock him down. Uh, let's see if I can move this this way. You know, that's odd. I didn't know that got rid of the um, book that was on that side. So that kind of sucks. Alright, um, I think I can get rid of this here. Which gives me a new set of... Actually, I could just come up here. There. That's actually... Almost perfect. Almost. Uh, if I can... Nope. Knock that. There we go. So I can knock the whole thing down. Come up here. I died last time because these trap blocks are really annoying. And it's really easy to forget. Ah, uh, shit. Um... Get out of the way, get out of the way. Uh, can't really make it over to the other side. So I'm gonna have to do something else. Um, Because I can't naturally make it to the other side. And what I want to do is hang this way. There we go. So there we go. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> probably not my best time with this level, so I'm probably going to have to do that again, but I'll do that off screen. I won't make you guys sit through this level again. I mean, who knows? Maybe by some miracle I made it fast enough, even though I messed up the step timer, like, twice. Let's see, let's see. Nope. Only a silver. That's alright, that's alright. We've done worse. <laughs> or rather, I've done worse. What is wrong with my phone? Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we're here at another landing. We got some more sheep here. We got some new customers actually. Hey, you there. The sheep that's just standing around. I'll give you any amount of money you want. Just get me out of here. Dude, I'm clueless too. What are you talking about? I don't know where the hell I am either. How dare you talk to me like that? You're a sheep! I'm the heir to a big corporation. I'm a VIP. Why am I even bothering talking to a sheep? Stand up and stop complaining. All we can do is keep climbing. Shut up! I know. Well, fuck this guy. I can't believe they're making me do this. Sheep have interesting habits. They all follow one leader. If the leader falls off a cliff, the entire group will go to its death. Maybe we'd survive if we had a great leader. <coughs> Le moi. I heard that this place has eight levels. Does that mean there's an exit? <sighs> yeah, I was considering not talking to all these sheep and just kind of uh, skipping through everything, but at the same time, it kind of does play into the story, sort of, so I'm gonna have to keep it in for a while. Have you seen them? You're those two sheep who attack you while you're climbing. Are trying to follow you or what? N no, they're just crazy. I don't know what's going on. I've done it too. Seriously? The blood is on my hands. Ah, look around. It's obvious. I passed out here last night, and I'm still here. Does that mean 
we have to keep going every night until we die? So unfortunately, they kind of missed an opportunity. They should have made it so that when you kill sheep, um, it affects your karma meter in a way. Because I kind of just killed like two guys. So. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. We're discussing techniques. Please join us. Who, me? Your climbing was quite innovative. It's the truth. Yeah, why not? Sure. First, here's a technique I thought of. Allow me to explain the bridge. If you must cross a gap, move a block over it to create a bridge. That way, you can reach the other side of the gap. What do you think? Did you know that one already? Well, what about this thing? Allow me to explain the flying bridge. Using principles of the bridge, gaps two blocks wide are no problem. Push the same block twice to push it to the other side. Then, add another block next to it to complete the bridge. Wow, I knew it! You're not just a regular guy. That's really cool, buddy. I think that'll help me beat the next area. Hey, hello, hey. Oh, I got a technique for you. Yeah, let's do it. Allow me to explain the spider. If there is a block in your way, try dangling off the edge and moving around it. It's a useful way to go around the block to find another place to stand. By moving around, you can skip having to move blocks. You mustn't let your guard down. I wonder if my girl's the witch. Oh, you mean the one from the rumors? She got all worked up all of a sudden for no reason the other day. She was just stabbing your dinner with her fork in. I thought she was gonna reach over and gut me. Maybe you just like those kind of women. Men who want to control women tend to have a desire to be controlled by women. It's the truth. So yeah, the spider is a technique that we used a couple of times in the previous level where we tried to do last episode, but we died because we forgot about the trap block. Were you paying attention in the confessional? There's someone in the real world who wants me dead. Yeah, I heard. You think of anyone who would do that? Yeah, I can. A lot of them. A lot? But this curse is nothing compared to there. I escaped from hell. Interesting. I'm here. Take me up. Don't be so impatient. Sit down. Oh, man. You're here, Lamb. Why are you doing this? We're climbing up these weird blocks, and the monster from yesterday? What was that? This is your dream. What appears depends on you, doesn't it? Oh, I can't let you carry your memories of your dream back into the real world. If you were to try anything in reality, it'd be troublesome for my game. <laughs> well, now you'll be answering my question. This is the third question. Imagine paradise. Which seems more like paradise? <laughs> so, everyone, what seems more like a paradise? A beautiful countryside or somewhere where I can Which get a one? drink? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm not exactly too much of a drinker, so I'm gonna have to say I guess a beautiful countryside. Even though, I don't know, bugs and Damn, I don't know. a bunch of animals and... Uh, everything being really quiet and open spaces with trees is a bit annoying. But I hate crowds, so I don't really want like going to clubs and bars. So I'm gonna have to say a countryside. Oh, really? So that's your choice. How interesting! Your abilities are exceptional. You best work hard. It's not like no one has ever survived. Really? Far above this place, on the eighth floor, there's a cathedral. It's said that those who reach that holy pinnacle will have the path of freedom opened unto them. And of course, from this nightmare as well. So if I climb to the very top, I'll be saved? I've said too much. I'll guide you to the next trial. Cathedral, huh? Okay, fine. So, we see that we have a goal in mind now. We've got to try and make it to the cathedral. 
possibly find salvation there. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if this is actually going to work. Yeah. Since I don't have, um, I'm not connected to the internet right now because I'm uploading something and it's taking too long to sign in. But this is actually a poll that they did, I guess. Very interesting. It's men only and uh, everyone seems to love the countryside. Huh. Alright, let's make our way to the second floor of the torture chamber. Some dark blocks may be moved, while others cannot. Look at the various blocks in your way when determining your path. Yeah, the ones with the like the lion crest or something like that, you can't move them. Damn it. Those traps again. Commencing area two. Are you ready? So usually when I see trap blocks, I, I like to just step over them just to get them the hell out of the way. Edge. And I just, you know, step on them and hang over or whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as they're done, because in that way they can't kill me later on. Edge. Edge. Oh yeah, here's another interesting mechanic. Sometimes the stage uh, takes a while to show up. <laughs> uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. Alright, that, that uh, I almost died. <laughs> um, anyways, now I finally have time to get into what I wanted to talk about last time. If I go up, that guy's gonna kill me. There we go, alright. Luckily, he managed to kill himself for us. Sweet guy. Uh, basically, I just wanted to talk about relationships and stuff. Not anything, you know, too crazy. I'm not trying to turn into some sort of guru or anything of the sort, I might have almost messed this up. Um, but basically I just wanted to, I guess, talk about like my experiences and stuff. Since this is, I've said this a hundred times, this is a February and it is the month of love. Kinda just wanna, I don't know, say some things. Don't wanna say anything too much since I know I have a couple of people I know that watch this stuff. So I don't wanna, <laughs> you know, get a bunch of angry texts later on. But uh, for tonight, I figured we talk about my first love, since it seems appropriate to bring that up <laughs> as our first conversation. Um, I don't know exactly what my first love was per se, so it's a bit odd for me to say that, since I don't know. My first love kind of depends on what you mean by first <laughs> uh, that's what I get for stopping for just a sliver of seconds will we try this time from the beginning if we fail twice in a row I'll just go and start from checkpoint and I might even cut to that just so you guys don't have to sit through everything but anyways um, first love is kind of odd because it depends on what you mean exactly because it could be the first time I ever, you know, thought I liked somebody, but it could also be the first time I actually, you know, actually liked somebody or the first time I actually had a relationship or the first time I actually, you know, loved someone, not just, you know, ha ha ha, I think you're kind of cute, ha 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 ha. Uh, that being said... The farthest back that I can remember, I guess, was in kindergarten, actually. I remember there was this girl that I liked. I mean, it wasn't anything, like, serious. <laughs> I wasn't planning on ever talking to her or anything like that, but I remember I did like her. And she had, uh... Something... I, I don't remember a lot. All I remember is that this one time I was talking to her, there was some sort of, like... Because it was kindergarten, so I think we had, like, fake animals. And I think we had a fish or something. Or not fake animals, sorry. I don't know why I said fake. Uh, we had animals. And I believe we had fish. And you know how they have like fake plants and stuff? That's where the fake part comes in. I think uh, we had one of those. And there was like fake leaves and stuff. And like it was on her lip. And I wanted to say something. But I was really extremely super shy. So naturally, I didn't say a damn thing. Hopefully, I don't mess it up this time. Um. So I, yeah, I didn't say anything. I've never actually ever talked to her. Not that I actually bring it up. Oh, don't want to do that. Um. Oops, Daisy, almost died this time. 
or that time. All right, there we go. That's what I want to do. Then I can move this here, and we can just make it up here. Didn't make it in time, but I lost my step. Uh, but yeah, she had that in her mouth, and I didn't say anything about it. <laughs> uh, not that it was anything that bad. I mean, it's not like it was some crazy stuff, and she had, you know, an appointment or anything like that. It was kindergarten. But that's pretty much the only memory I can remember from kindergarten. It was that, and there was also this really annoying, like, um, chunky girl that I had really weird, like, fantasies about, like, you know, dealing with her, because she was really annoying and, like, obstructing the class. I get and I remember that, and I remember my graduation, but that's only because I, I have, like, pictures of that. But that was the first time I ever, like, felt, you know, something for another female, I guess. Another female. <laughs> uh, another... The uh, person of the opposite sex, I guess. To be more specific. I forget everything that happens here, but before I know it, I'm back again. For the past few days, I've always been in this area. Damn, I get the feeling I'm gonna reach the last door soon. I know that if I keep going up, that terrible thing's gonna appear. Oh, I don't want to go any higher. What do you mean? It's chasing me from below. It's gonna kill me. Calm down. That attitude's gonna get you killed. Well, aren't you cool-headed? You're cold, man. I've gotta respect that. I've been feeling weird lately. Before I know it, I'm here, covered in blood. Get beat up pretty bad too. I'm all bloody from scratches and bites. It's not like that. It's not my blood. Hey, hey. Please, get away from me. Run! I may even kill you. Good of you to come this far. <laughs> Everyone's gonna die. Everyone! <laughs> hey, get a grip. Freak out, you're never gonna make it out of here. Everyone's gonna die. Everyone! <laughs> That's you. So that guy's a bit insane. <laughs> As you can see, these nightmare stages are really taking a toll on everyone. About true freedom? Unfortunately. They say that true freedom awaits you at the top. What is true freedom? Does that mean that even I can be free too? Free from the life I live? You're only gonna find out if you reach the top. Can you stand? Don't be nice to me. I may push you off one of these days. It's you. Those two over there are talking about how to climb. Yeah, why don't you join them? Hmm. You don't sound very enthusiastic. It's a pain. Living, dying, it's not cool. Hopefully there's no annoying guys like my boss. I hear there's a great sheep who escaped this place a hundred years ago. Is that me? I might be able to get out too? Not might. You will. Right. I will get out. Those sheep there are talking about climbing techniques. I think I'll join them. Ah, I want to climb. But these other sheep get in my way. They mess up the blocks that I pull out. I'm going to turn them all into sheep stew someday. I get it. Now I was thinking in my head, ew, sheeps too. Then again, I eat a lot of lamb, so I'd probably like that a lot. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, all the sheep here are starting to get a little more deranged and crazy. The nightmare stages seem to be taking a giant toll on them. Not to mention that they keep coming back here every night against their will. So, I'm going to go ahead and save, and I'm going to call it here for tonight. Next time, we'll take on the next level of the Torture Chamber. See you soon. Man, night after night. I'm so tired. It's like what they say. Third times... Third times... The charm? Who cares what cliche you're using? Do you know... I get the feeling something big's coming up. Want to trade techniques? Sure. Allow me to start with the technique I developed. Allow me 
to explain the swing out. When you pull a block, drop and hang, then move to the other side. Now you can push the block. It's useful in tight spaces. Remember this one. Not a bad trick, you think? I have more. Allow me to explain the toppler. If a stack of blocks is full of holes, pushing the lower blocks is an option. By causing blocks to fall, you may find a path upwards. That sounds useful. Oh, I just thought of something like that. Well, maybe this will help. Allow me to explain wall suspension. By using edges, you can connect with blocks forming walls. Blocks make edge connections on all sides, not just left and right. Suspend them from the walls and make new footing. I see. I didn't think of that. Buddy, you got moves. If I was a chick, I'd be all over you.